Day 17, kiss my asana, a windy day in upcountry Maui, and I've been watching this beautiful palm tree flowing in the wind and also noticing the shapes of its leaves and how they bend in different angles, which made me think about side bending. First of all, side bending is not something we do very often in our society. We're often just so much going forward, sometimes a little backwards, but we don't do a lot of side to side movement. So just side bending in general is good. And I want to share with you how there's different angles that you can side bend, like there's different angles of that tree. Side bending doesn't always have to be in the same place. So I'm going to show you a few ways today to side bend and you're welcome to join me. So first we find mountain pose. I don't think you need to see my feet for this, so feet grounding, spine lengthening. Then bring your hands on the hips. First side bend is going to be side bending of the waist by moving the hips. So go ahead and take your hips over to the right and your torso is going to lean a little to the left creating a stretch in the side of your waist. Mm -hmm. Keep the head in line with the spine as you breathe. You might even try to bring a little breath, more breath into the waist and then come back up and do the same thing on the other side unless you're part of the extra curvy club those of us scoliosis might have variations where we should do really the same side so if you want to know more about that you can ask me All right. and come back up Great. so that's from the waist now second place for today is to side bend more from the rib cage so this one will be keeping the hips steady and bending from the side. So go ahead and take your right side over to the left while keeping the hips tip steady. Now when you do it this way in the ribcage, there's actually a twist that you might feel in the spine. And if you don't go with the twist, you'll wind up kind of doing some contortion. So as you side bend to the right, spiral the spine a little to the left. Then you can bend a little bit more. Breathe into the rib cage. I'm just feeling the bend. I know we could take the arms up, but actually if you don't take the arms up, it gives you the opportunity to really feel more into what you're doing inside the torso. All right, then come back up. And repeat a second time, either same side or other side. I'm going to do the same side. On the exhalation, side bend to the side. Feel a little bit of that twist. You may even turn your head a little, the direction of away from the way you're, you are bending. And then come back up. And feel mountain pose a little longer in the side. And then of course you can always side bend with your arms in different positions, especially up overhead. Right? I like to take a hold of the wrist and lengthen up first. And once you do that, in this position you can choose either to bend just from the rib cage like this, or if it feels really good to you, does not feel good to me, but if it feels really good to you to also side bend from the hips, make it a whole kind of half moon shape. In some traditions they actually call this half moon. When you have your arm up, it really does feel good and goes along with the movement of the spine to turn, again, away from the side that you're bending towards. Come back up, and one more time, other side. Take a hold of the wrist and either full bend or choose one spot to focus on. I'm going to be gentle with the arm and just focus a little on the hip here. And then come back up. All right, so get your side on, side bending and perhaps looking around at nature, the trees, Moving in the wind might give you some other ideas of ways to move and groove. Till next time, tomorrow. Uh, today is day 17. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Aloha.